Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto Channel. Today we are looking at the 10x altcoin gem that we've covered on the channel that has just flipped dot on the market cap standings. And I'm going to go through a few other investment tips throughout the video. So make sure you stick around for the entire video. And of course, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, hit all so you can see these videos pop up in your feed. 201,000. We have broken through the resistance. All right, on our way to 210. So thanks very much for all of your support. The video in question today is this one right here. Is Solana the next 10x altcoin gem? Gem. So I covered my thoughts in that video, so I won't recap that too much, but I will talk about the numbers. At that time, the market cap for Solana was around 15 billion, and the idea was it going to 150 billion, which was about a little less than half Ethereum's market cap at the time. So not talking about the projects themselves because that's for other videos, but we're just looking at the progression of Solana at the moment, especially after it has now flipped Polkadot in the top 10 standings. It is now at number eight. I believe this might be the first time inside the single digits, one to number nine. It's also flipped USD. D coins so at USDC at 27 and a half billion. So since we last talked about it, it was sitting at around 55 bucks, around a 15 and a half billion, call it 16 billion. So we're nearly getting to the 2x from that video, which is only about two weeks ago. So the idea here is to hit that 150 billion uh, and get us into the top five at some point in the future. I don't think it's going to be a straight up uh, point, uh, straight up shoot to that. $560, $580 sole. But at this point, you'd probably be forgiven if you thought that's the way it was going to go. Now, the sponsor for today's video is the Investor Accelerator. I'm bringing this up because there's just another two days of the special. So if you want to join us on the Investor Accelerator Premium group, uh, you've got $200 off. So just click TIA Premium. You can click into these and just see all of the details and what you're getting. Uh, the benefits, the inclusions, you get everything in TIA Lite and it's approximately the same price except with this discount, you're getting a much better deal at the, at the moment. It's at $7.99 but $200 off because we just launched the new website. So this is the, the promo for it. Launch, $200 off, that's your coupon code. Put it in here, hit apply and $200 negative off. So you get $5.99. There are 18 left and two days to go. That's all I'll say on that until the end of the video. Let's have a look at the chart of Solana. Now, this is what we have here. Strong horse. I have looked at this and I think this is definitely one of the strong horses. We've talked about the 50% and I see some comments coming up about why is this a strong horse? How could I have seen it beforehand? And I talk a lot about 50% and people still wonder how do you get to the 50% levels? So what I'm doing is using a major range low and a major range high. And you can do that for major ranges. I wouldn't be using this thing for just any range. You know, I'm not, I'm not just gonna put it at any of these lows through here because that's not a major range. You could be forgiven for using this range here because that is a major low and you would at some point, but I'm using the all-time low to the previous all-time high. That is a very major range. Uh, so that halfway point was 30 bucks and the, str the strength here that we saw is that the market tried to remain above it, bounced off about the 61% drop or the 38% support, and we didn't really get too many closes under the 50%. And then we started to take away with increasing volume. So the breakout of the swing was another good entry, around $40 if you wanted to be really conservative. And that was also above the other 50%. I'd say the this is basically the bear, well, the correction crash 50% and that was at 30, call it $39. So that is just measuring the ranges and giving you an idea of, is it strong above it? Is it weaker beneath it? If it's in the weaker uh, section of the 50% or of the FIB extension, it doesn't mean it has to break down and crash past the lows. It just means it's in a weaker position. And we saw this on many other charts and not to pick on the projects. I looked at Theta, I like that. I looked at Matic, I like that but they were in a weak position. It was a weaker in VET. I also like that, not as much as Theta or, or Matic, but this is just to give an idea of the strength in these projects and how to use these tools. 
ADA was also one of these other cryptos which was above its 50% or really attempting to close above its 50%. And so there were multiple uh, entries as well. The swings are really uh, conservative to break through the highs. That really shows some strength. And sure, you're missing out on some of the gains from the absolute low, but how do you know it's the absolute low at the time? You, you really don't. So you do miss out on look at that, 80% or so, but these cryptos have huge uh, huge ways to run because they are in overall strength compared to other cryptos. So the crypto I'll show you here, Matic, it's beneath 50%. This one's doing a little better than some of the others. Um, and that is just to show the strength versus the weakness. The other crypto I wanted to show you guys is Theta. So Theta on the US dollar pair, it's beneath the 50%, it's beneath the major 50% as well. So this is the crash 50%. And this is the uh, major 50%. So it's it's having a hard time. It's done its really, really, really big move. But at the moment, it's having a little bit of a hard time. So that's what I see on some of these other cryptos. But of course, today we are talking about Solana. Now, what uh, the other thing I want to talk about here is the price targets that we are starting to push through. Currently, we have hit $97.80. Call it 98 bucks, nearly at that 100. Maybe we'll get there this week, maybe not. Like it, it doesn't really matter. The point is that we're still seeing strength, but we also have to recognize that we can get pullbacks. So I'll throw this on log so you can really see what's going on here. Had a few good weeks up, big pullback. And this can get scary if you've just joined the market at the highs. Remember this, it just breaking through some highs. Maybe you weren't in the market here, but essentially, you can see something similar has happened here. It started to break through the highs of $5 and uh, then it just keeps going up. But you do get corrections and here was not too big. We had about 33, 30% uh, drop from that point. And then we continue up. The uh, increases get less and less. So just keep that in mind. And then we have a major correction. And so this was something else that I want to have a look at as well, which is the time frames, the reactions, and good to be prepared, all right? So I've talked about the importance of strong horses, and I was just picking on the charts, but the idea here is um, the time frames of the weeks up just to be prepared. Being prepared is fine, even if it's weeks or months in advance. I prefer that rather than, you know, leaving it to the last minute and then trying to figure out what the plan is at the time. Should I be exiting now? It's hit 100 bucks. Should I get out? No, personally, I don't like to do that. But if it's in your plan, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Um, reactions and percentage drops. So this is to prepare the mindset for when something like this happens. So uh, the crash that we had after, so the timeframes, we had a nice five and a half thousand percent over 21 weeks. So we've got 21 bars, it says there. That means it is, it's on a weekly chart. So it's 21 weeks, about five months. Then the, the correction after that 5,500% return was about 60 to 70% drop. And that's the lowest we got on that point. Before we started to consolidate through a period of, let's call it after the breakout. That's when the consolidation ended. So the consolidation ended here as it broke through both highs quite decisively. 12 weeks, so about three months. We had about five months up, three months of consolidation. And then so far, we've seen about three weeks of bull market, new highs, everyone's going crazy, NFTs are out. It's uh, it's a, a new strong move for Solana. Let's have a look at what it did previously. This was about an 80% drop last time I measured it. There it is there, 78%. And that took about 16 weeks. So four months of down, you could call it some sort of consolidating as well through this period. Maybe it was half that that time. And then we took off, like we said, for about that 12 weeks. So what it did here from the low is go up for about 16 weeks. So I had 16 weeks of up and then 16 weeks of down. Didn't get to the previous lows, which may, means it's strong. It had a higher low and then it took off for 21 weeks. So the upside was expanding more time to the upside and the, downs, the, uh, the downtrends are contracting, meaning less time to the downside. So it's no wonder that we've seen some good strength on this move out of the consolidation, out of the highs. 
it's it could be early days. We do see very high volume at this stage. So that is something to contend with. I don't want to give you all a ton of hopium for our 10x altcoin because nothing goes up in a straight line. We might have another few of these sorts of moves before we get to our $560 soul, if we ever get there. That's just my thoughts because of the fundamentals I've looked at for Solana. And I think this has the potential to rival some of the other smart contract uh, projects out there. We've got Ethereum, Cardano. Will it beat Ethereum? I don't know. I don't think so at this stage. But I think it does have a lot in it from a $27 billion market cap to get into this top five. You might think 4x or 6x from this point is not enough. I mean, that's entirely up to you and your own plan and uh, your level of comfort when it comes to investing. Uh, I like to play just a little bit more conservatively and go for some of the stuff that has been proven, look for the strength, buy it on momentum, get on the breakouts so that I'm in profit and I'm not waiting around too long. You know, I've gone through that, through that 2018, 2019, 2020, just the market going sideways and down and I'm sure I'll go through it again and miss some of those highs. It's just the way it is. But the idea is to have a bit of a view of where we're going, look at some of these price targets and see how it's reacting to the price targets because I don't want to be selling out as the market breaks through, say, $80 to see it go strong towards 100 I want to have reasons for exiting, not just a price target. Uh, so other people just have price targets. I, I would rather trail some of the support levels on the way up. So this is a support level and then I'll start to look for smaller uh, time frame support levels. And that's what I do on the way up to find out where to exit. And I thought I'd mention that, look at it a little bit more detailed in future videos because I did put a question out to you guys and that's the the piece that you wanted to have a look at more so was what to do when it comes to exiting. And I did that on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do that. Instagram and on Twitter. Uh, I covered what I wanted to cover in today's video when it comes to this 10x altcoin gem flipped dot and that is Solana because again from that previous video, if you're just checking it out, uh, watch out now. Solana next 10x is around 15 billion and I'm looking for it to go to 150 billion. It could fall short. It could go more. I, uh, I'm not getting my heart set on it just like I don't with any crypto. But um, that's my view just because of the other smart contract cryptocurrencies in the space at the time. We've looked at the weeks up, giving us a bit of an idea of how much time we could expect something to move. And if it doesn't get to that time, that's going to be a bit of a warning sign. Uh, but this, this could have several more weeks to go. We, we just don't know. We just want to keep following it week by week. So I want to give you some hopium, but at the same time, I don't want it to be blown up to be Solana should be going to a thousand dollar coin etc. You know, like that's the sort of balance that I'm trying to do here. Reactions, percentage drops. We've seen it do 70%. We've seen it do 80% and continue up. Within a move, within a cycle, within a uh, up range, so you can see this, it has done 30% drops. So that can be expected as well. We could go from 100 bucks to $70 and we still would be in this up range. Could it go further and still be an up range? Yes, it could still be in an uptrend, sorry. So they're the things just to have a look at as well. Like I said, I prefer to be prepared, even if it means I'm weeks or months in advance. That's just my preference. If you'd rather do it day by day, I can't stop you. You do what you need to do. Uh, and then the importance of the strong horses. And that just comes down to uh, getting the way I look at it, getting my funds into a project which is moving rather than praying and hoping based on the previous part of the cycle. For example, I'm just picking on Theta. I think it's a good project. We saw Theta go absolutely nuts, but it is struggling at the moment compared to the strong horses. It's doing very well, but compared to the strong horses, it is not performing as well. And that's all there is to it. Nothing to do with the project. It did a fantastic run and possibly outperformed them. I haven't even looked. 4,000. So Solana's even done better than this through that period. But it's still a good looking project overall and it has different purposes. But uh, that's what I wanted to chat with you guys about today. Looking at that strong horse, mentioning a few things to do with the, the selling of cryptos, you know, where I'm looking for price target hits and just following the market on the way up because we use those fibs and of course, support and resistance levels. 
and uh, just the timeframes and what to look out for just to be prepared. So before we wrap up, remember $200 off if you guys use the links down below. You'll see that in the description. Uh, we got launch 200 off. Put that in here. Coupon code negative 200 bucks off that. So it's $599 for the year. You get everything included. That is for the 12 month membership. There's only 18 left. So make sure you use that before it expires in two days time. I'll wrap it up there for you guys. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and on the tube. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.